hi everyone welcome back to just Revit. and in this video today i'll be taking you through common problems we find ourselves in from our day-to-day -day use in revit and before we go into that i would like to thank you for liking my previous videos sharing them and also commenting it's helped me a lot and also motivates me to do more for you and if you've not seen those videos i suggest you do so i'll drop a link in the description below because in the previous video we talked about some tricks that helps your revit use we talked about some shortcuts we also talked about using the line work tool to enhance your elevation rather than using revit default elevation and also the use of formulas in revit as we have formulas in excel there are some formulas in Revit and so much more. I'll suggest you check it out. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, I'll suggest you do so. And in today's video, we'll be showing some problems we encounter and how to solve them. So the first one I'll be showing you is when you are changing scale in your Revit project. So this is a default or a sample project in Revit and everything has been done basically and we have a section here and we can see it's done already and what will happen if we change our scale from 100 to 200 we find out that the section line has disappeared you ready to go to how can we bring it back okay so the first thing to do is let's say you've changed this and don't want to change it to the default scale you can go to okay you can't find it on this level you can go to another level where you see the section select it and come to the properties tab here click on hide at scale coarser than this currently is set to 100 so you can set it to 1 to 5000 and click apply then go back to the level where we change and we can now see our section so ensure you do that for your section lines before you change their skills so that's one and two if you get to copy levels in revit for example this level if we copy this level for example okay let's say monitor multiple say we copy it by four meters okay we can't see that because the copy journals covered it okay so we'll leave it at that if we come to this roof level click on it you right click and go to floor plan it takes you to the floor plan rather than come here but if you look at these levels we just created if you click on it and right click if you click on go to floor plan it's grayed out what do you do the way to solve this is by going to the view tab then the create sub tab then plan views you click on floor plans then select the two levels you created click ok and wait for it you go to you go to this and you click on go to floor plan you've solved that problem but as an that problem that has been created if you notice there are grids on each levels that guides you to know the position of your columns or your walls or lower levels but if we go to level six we can't find our grids again we check to reveal hidden elements we can't find it so where did our grids go to why can't we find them to solve that we go to the elevation view select the grid and we 
extended above the last level so now if you go to level 7 click on go to floor plan we can now see our grades but again these grades are only horizontal we are vertical grades you go to another elevation and do the same thing we did we drag it up and yeah so go to level seven and we can now see our grades so that's how to sort out levels that are now accessible and also missing grades then in a situation where you mistakenly close this how do i get it back if i'm an architecture tab how do i get it back i go to my view come to windows user interface and i select my project browser and it comes back so there's no need to worry revit has got you then lastly I'll show you this quick trip. If you go to your site plan, we see how this building sits on this. This is very nice and presentable. And what I want to show you now is how to rotate a view without rotating the whole building in Revit. So see how this building is oriented like this, like this U-shaped. And if you go to this level, it's the same thing say we now want to rotate it that this side is going to like face us say this the main entrance for example so i'm going to click on show crop region select it then the twist to it is when rotating you rotate the opposite direction so this this line is parallel to this wall and i'm going to click on it normally i want to rotate it this way 90 degrees this way so it turns clockwise but if i want to achieve a clockwise rotation i'm I have to rotate it anti-clockwise so i'll go this way and type 90 and watch what will happen Boom we have just rotated it and this works and you can now go to your site and all other levels and see that the building did not rotate you only rotated this view and every other thing still remains so in case you have a site that is slanted at an angle and the not arrow is facing up you can always adjust the views per sheet so that's one trick for you and i hope you learned something new today and if you did please drop a comment in the comment section below and also like this video if you gain something and don't forget to share it will be very much helpful thank you